The patient is diagnosed with Plummer Vincent syndrome. Which of the following statements are true regarding the same? So we have this patient showing pallor, ball tongue, angular colitis, paleness. Okay. So Plummer Vincent syndrome is associated with iron deficiency anemia. Okay. Now let's look at the options. It predisposes to oral cancer. Produces myasthenic changes in the esophageal musculature, has autoimmune etiopathogenesis, and all of the above. So, which of the following statements are true? So, one by one, we look at the explanation. Plummer Vincent syndrome, also known as Patterson Kelly syndrome, is one of the manifestations of iron deficiency anemia, first given by Plummer, and it was uh, the it was earlier known as hysterical dysphagia because of the association of difficulty in swallowing dysphagia means difficulty in swallowing so the esophageal musculature is the one which is really affected so Albaum uh, defined it as a predisposition for development of carcinoma in the upper GI tract it is in fact one of the few predisposing factors in oral cancer so option one predisposes to oral cancer is correct okay next it is thought that the de depletion of iron dependent oxidative enzymes may produce myasthenic changes or muscular changes in swallowing. Okay, so swallowing mechanism is affected because of the atrophy of the esophageal mucosa and formation of webs as mucosal complications. So there is the uh, changes, the myasthenic changes in the esophagus due to formation of webs due to atrophy can cause difficulty in swallowing because of the depletion of iron dependent oxidative enzymes. That means second statement, produce myasthenic changes in esophageal musculature is also correct. Continuing with the explanation, it is also thought to be an autoimmune phenomenon as the syndrome is seen in association with autoimmune conditions such as rheumatoid arthritis, pernicious anemia, celiac disease and thyroiditis. So it has an autoimmune predilection or etiopathogenesis, this option is also correct. Since all three options are correct, the correct answer to this is all of the above. Other factors such as nutritional deficiencies, genetic predisposition are thought to play roles in the causation of this disease. So the case of plummer vincent syndrome shown in the image may predispose to oral cancer, causes myasthenic changes in esophageal musculature and has an autoimmune etiopathogenesis.